all kindreds, all nations, and all tribes who are worshiping the Lamb of God. And this goes for every last one of us that are in Christ. We're going to spend eternity worshiping the Lamb of God. Amen. This is why, um, you want to know why? Because he takes away the sin of the world. This is why John the Baptist said, and you look very familiar. God bless you. It's nice to see you again. Amen. This is why John the Baptist said, Behold the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. And he's talking also to the Jewish people. Keep in mind that Yeshua HaMashiach is the Jewish Messiah. Hashem loves you guys. And the demonstration of Hashem's love is that he sent Christ to die on the cross so that the Jewish people as well as the Gentiles can be saved. But the Bible says for every last one of you that today is the day of salvation. So you guys got to repent and turn to Jesus Christ while you guys have breath inside of your lungs. Because every breath that you guys breathe comes from Yahweh, comes from uh, Jehovah, which is the God of the Bible. And the thing is, guys, is that the promise of salvation was originally given to the Israelites. But if you look into the New Testament, you see that the Apostle Paul's ministry was extended unto the Gentiles. And the thing is, guys, is that God's house will be a house of prayer and a house for all nations. Not just the nation of Israel, but it will be um, for all nations, including the nation of Israel. But it's key for you guys to keep in mind that everything that's happening in Israel, everything that's happening in Jerusalem is in light of Bible prophecy. The Bible talks about these things. Don't believe me? Read the book of Zechariah. Read the book of all of these different uh, Jewish books from the Old Testament. And they will show you everything that's going on over in Israel. The uh, war between the Palestinians and um, the Jewish people. The Bible talks about these things. But you want to know something, guys? The most important thing you guys need is Messiah. And Messiah is Jesus Christ. The King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Great I Am. He's the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the ending. He's the Lion of the tribe of Judah. Amen. Amen. He's the Son of David. So you guys got to repent and turn to him while you have a chance. Because one day, you guys are going to stand before God. And you're going to have to give an account of your lives. Amen. And when you stand before God, what are you going to say to him if you haven't received Yeshua HaMashiach, better known as Jesus Christ, as your personal Lord, Savior, and God. Even though the uh, Old Testament scriptures talk about these things again and again and again, specifically to the Jewish people. Now again, it's not just a promise to the Jewish people, but it's a promise to all people, because again, the Bible says, God bless you, for God so loved the world, God bless you guys too, I love y'all. But Jesus loves y'all a whole lot more than I can ever love y'all, because he died on the cross for y'all's salvation. Keep that in mind. Hashem loves y'all, and he sent his son, Christ Jesus, Yeshua, to die on the cross for y'all's salvation. Keep that in mind, guys. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So, guys, I'm going to get off this mic. I'm going to let my brother in Christ, Shema, take over. I pray that you guys are having a blessed night, but if, you're got, if your night is blessed right now, it can go from being blessed to even more blessed. And the reason why is because of what Jesus has done for you. If you receive him, the Bible says if you confess with your mouth, that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead. The Bible says you shall be saved. And the Bible says four verses after that, that whoever calls upon the name of the Lord, Yahweh, I know y'all familiar with that term, Yahweh shall be saved. So you guys got to repent and turn to Yahweh in the person of the Lord Jesus Christ. It was Jesus that said before, God bless you. It was Jesus that said before Abraham was, I am. And the Hebrew term for I am is the Hebrew term Yahweh, which means in English it's the name that the God of Israel um, referred to him, um, their God as. This is why in Exodus chapter 3, verse 14, in your Torah, by the way, the Bible says, I am that I am. And it's talking about Moses uh, coming from the burning bush and God revealing him to himself to Moses. God bless you. And he's revealing himself to Moses because of the fact that that name is the name of God. Yahweh is the God of the Bible. So therefore, when Jesus said, before Abraham was, I am, he was referring to himself as God. And you guys can know this God starting today. He loves you. He died on the cross. He was buried. He suffered a radical payment. But he wants you to repent. 
and to turn to Jesus Christ so that you could be saved. Time is winding up. And you never know when you could die. You could die tonight. And if you were to die tonight, the only thing you would have to look forward to, my brothers and sisters and humanity, is if you know Jesus or if you have rejected him. That's the only thing that's going to matter. All your money, all your worth. Amen. I stand with Israel too. God bless you. Praise the Lord. But keep in mind, guys, one day you're all going to have to stand before him and give an account of your life. And I promise you, like I was trying to mention beforehand, the only thing you're going to have to look forward to if you were to die tonight is whether or not if you know Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ in English, or if you've, God bless you, or if you've rejected him. Because if you've rejected him, God bless you. Unfortunately, we're going to be casted into outer darkness, the Bible says. Where there's going to be weeping and gnashing and welling of the teeth. The Bible says it's the place where the worm never dies, the place where the fire is never quenched. Right. And the Bible